Hi friends, this is Dinero Research and today I'd love to show you the project I have been working on for several past months. It is called ArpSaaS, cloud-based cryptocurrency arbitrage trading bot. In this video I will explain why I created this bot, how it works and show you how to use it and will answer some questions that you might have. As you probably know, I sell trading bots and arbitrage bot is the most popular one. That bot is a standalone software which users have to configure and deploy by themselves. Unfortunately, not all users have a strong technical background to deploy that bot and some users might want to try to trade before buying it, which is pretty obvious, of course, but it was impossible in case of standalone version. That is why I created ArpSaaS, a platform where users should only set up their accounts and I will manage all backend infrastructure. ArpSaaS is currently in alpha version and of course it may contain bugs. Also bot lives on a temporary domain and you might find the correct link in the description to this video. Since ArpSaaS is not production ready yet, it is absolutely free for use for everyone, so I do not charge any cost for use of this bot. Instead, I want to hear your feedback that might help me to improve this bot. Also, registration is limited now. Only 10 users can sign up. Once I make sure that bot operates normally and reliably with 10 users, I'll open registration for more users. If you cannot sign up because of limited registration, but still interested in arbitrage trading bots, you might order a standalone version. Well, now let's go to the ArpSaaS. It operates on five exchanges – Polonix, Bitfinex, Binance, Bittrex International and Huobi Pro or Huobi International. And it can trade on USDT markets, and BTC markets. So, if you want to add more exchanges, more pairs, or more markets, please tell me in your feedback. What compares highest bids and lowest asks on these exchanges for all of these pairs? And if it has arbitrage opportunity, it creates simultaneously buy and sell orders. If you want more information on arbitrage, please watch my arbitrage trading tutorial. On the right hand side you might see live arbitrage monitor. It prints all arbitrage opportunities spotted by bot. It shows exact timing of arbitrage opportunity, pair, sell exchange, sell price, buy exchange, buy price, amount and profit. Please note that this is a gross profit before fees deductions, but this profit is always higher than exchange fees. I recommend you to use Live Arbitrage Monitor in order to decide on which exchanges and which pairs you want to trade. Ok, now let me show you how to set up account. Let's go to registration form, provide email, password, confirm password, Capture and click sign up. All data is provided. Denario at protonmail.com is my contact email in case of any questions during this alpha and probably beta version testing. So, passwords I am not a robot and let's click sign up. And once you clicked sign up, you have to confirm your email address. Confirmation link has been sent to the address you provided. After you click on confirmation link, you will be redirected to the login page and you will have the message that your email has been successfully confirmed. Now we can log in. Denario at protonmail mail.com and our password and I'm not a robot. Ok, let's log in. Not now. Not now. 
Then you will be redirected to the account setup guide. So let's begin with prerequisites. Like I said before, use Arbitrage Live Monitor in order to decide what and where you want to trade. Then set up separate accounts on exchanges you want to trade. Then make deposits on both exchanges. Your deposit structure ideally should look like 50% in base currency and other 50% in quote currencies. For instance, if you plan to trade on BTC markets, half of your money should be ideally in Bitcoin and other half in altcoins you want to arbitrage. And the most important rule, do not trade manually while bot is running, otherwise this might cause certain issues. Ok, let's click next. At the second stage, we need to select two exchanges we want to trade on. I would like to select Binance and Bittrex. So you can select only two exchanges. Let's click Next. At this stage we need to provide API key and secret for Binance Exchange and on the next one we will do the same for Bittrex. Below is a quick guide how to create API key. The most important rule – do not enable withdrawals option. Bot has no withdrawal functionality and will never have it. Then paste your API key and API secret in the fields below. Then bot will encrypt key and secrets and will save them into database. I have provided my Binance keys and in similar way I will provide my Bittrex keys. Below is a key setup guide which tells you which options you should enable and with which option you never should never enable. Ok, let's paste API and secret for Bittrex. Well, account has been successfully configured and I have been redirected to dashboard. Dashboard has two buttons – start trading and stop trading, profit coefficient field which I'll explain a little bit later, information about your balance on Binance and Bittrex. This is actually my test account, so as you see I have very low balances, and trading history table, which is empty for obvious reasons. Well, what is profit coefficient? It is a number which tells bot not to trade if profit is less than this coefficient. By default, its value is equal to combined exchange fees 0.1% on Binance and 0.25% on Bittrex. So, what will skip all trades where profit is less or equal than 0.35%? You may set any value to this coefficient. For instance, we will skip all trades where profit is less than 0.4%. But please make sure that this coefficient covers your exchange fees. And then we can click Start Trading and bot will begin to trade. If you plan any manual operations with one of your exchange accounts, for instance withdraw funds or make dep another deposit, do not forget to click Stop Trading and then start again. I have switched to my another test account in order to show you trading history. Here is this table and it shows date and time when trade was made, pair, sell exchange, sell price, buy exchange, buy price, amount and gross profit before fees deduction. Well, as you see, ARPSAS requires very little efforts from your side in order to set up account and begin trading. Well, now let's talk about your feedback. I have created a Discord channel, you might find a link to the Discord in the footer. So it is empty now because it's very fresh and it contains few channels 
general where we can discuss general questions, feature suggestions where you can suggest what to add, what to simplify, what to improve in user interface because I know it is very basic and horrible. And probably which markets you markets you want to add, pairs, exchanges and so on. And bugs channel where you can communicate all bugs you have spotted. And now I'd love to answer some questions. And the que first question you might have is why is it free? It's free because product is not production ready. You help me to improve product, instead you trade for free. That I think is a fair deal. For how long our PSAS will remain free? It will remain free until you see the product you want to pay for. How do I plan to monetize it? I'll introduce a subscription model. There would be monthly and one year subscriptions. I do not know exact prices right now, but price will be definitely higher than cost of running this bot and lower than average trading profit. What is the incentive to provide a valuable feedback? That's a good question actually. So everyone who has provided a valuable feedback and helped me to improve this bot will receive free trading for a certain period of time once subscription will be introduced. If you have purchased a standalone version of our arbitrage bot, you will also trade for free for a certain period of time once our PSAS becomes production ready. How rebalancing happens? You should do rebalancing manually, because bot has no withdrawal and deposit functionality. In order to rebalance coins, you need to stop trading, move funds between exchanges, and start trading again. How often should you make rebalancing? It actually depends on pairs you trade and exchanges you trade on. If you see that bot trades in both directions, for instance, sells on A, buys on B, then sells on B and buys again on A, there is no need to do rebalancing at all. If you see that bot accumulates certain coin on one exchange, there is a need to make a rebalancing. But before you do that, I recommend you to wait at least one or two weeks. And the last question, if this bot is profitable, why I do not keep it for myself and trying to advertise it? Like an average member of cryptocurrency community, I hold 3 to 4 coins. And I physically cannot trade 26 pairs on 5 exchanges. I am also user of this bot and I am selling the remaining capacity. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!